Okay, so we've definitely found some red squirrels. Hello, so today I have met up with Tim Day. I'll put his channel up here somewhere. And we are currently in Southport, then we're going to head to Formby to hopefully get some squirrels, and then we're going to go to Crosby for sunset. We're at Southport Pier, right at the end of the pier at the moment, and I'm a little bit uninspired. I was hoping for something monochromy, black and white, a little bit vintage. There's some lovely old retro arcade machines in the arcade, but the arcade's closed, so that's not going to happen today. But I've got a few shots of the ground, trying to find a bit of order in the chaos on the on the pier itself. Loose screws, cigarette butts maybe, the lines that the, the train comes down, train lines, yellow lines, picnic tables, I don't know. I think there's some shots here somewhere, but I think it's this place isn't providing that much inspiration just yet. I've taken a few detail shots, but then I thought that this mirror very reflective. I've taken a few artsy shots with that. Throwing the reflections of everything everywhere really. We are going to go to Formby now and we've got some nuts for some squirrels. So hopefully this is just the warm up act the comedian should we say for the band later on so we'll say goodbye to Southport and I'll pick you up again in Formby so we've made it to Formby now and on the drive the sun came out as well which is fantastic I'm hoping that there's some red squirrels around I've got some monkey nuts to try and entice them out towards the camera but I'm gonna get my gear out now put the long lens on the camera and yeah hopefully we'll find some decent red squirrels I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so we've definitely found some red squirrels. Oh, yeah. Must have taken, I must have taken about 50 pictures at least. And I've just put the wide angle lens on at about, I can't even see, can you see what it's on? 14 mil maybe. <laughs> and I've just got some beautiful shots of a squirrel right up in the lens of the camera. Seems also, Geniusly popped a nut on top of the action cap. We're being very quiet. Or <laughs> trying to be very quiet. This guy's not being quiet next to me at all. But hopefully we'll get in some good, if not great, shots of some red squirrels. I've never taken a red squirrel picture before. So I'm thrilled to bits with what I've got. You've just taken 200. I've just taken 200. <laughs> so, very happy some more photographers in the woods as well so it's really good the, um, the red squirrels are definitely out in force surrounding us which is pretty awesome it's an awesome experience as well as the final end pictures as well okay I'm going to try and get some more photos and I'll pop some of them up for you now
as I said before, it's just an awesome experience to be so close to these beautiful creatures. One strike going in my back and I've got cable release. So I, I'm not that close to them, but I've got the camera right positioned beautifully. We've got some lovely patches of light coming through the, the canopy of the trees. And we're just trying to place the nuts to entice them in within that sort of light so we can get the best light on the subject. Well, we've come out of the main woodland area now and we've just done the circular squirrel walk, the designated squirrel walk. And when we got here, there wasn't that much here, but so we had to sit down, got some nuts out, placed them everywhere. And the squirrels came, did they come? Got some lovely pictures once again. Just being able to slow right down and just wait for that shot rather than trying to force the shot waiting for the subject to do what you want it to I've taken loads of pictures probably 10% will be good if that but some of them I'm really really pleased with so hopefully this day will continue like this right I think all the squirrels have disappeared we just sat down for maybe another half an hour and we had a couple up here take some nuts and then bury them and disappear but I've got some really nice shots so I'm going to share them in a minute but for now we'll be off to Crosby for potentially sunset if not some nice arty shots of the Gormley statue men things but yeah really enjoyed today really enjoyed the capturing my first red squirrels on picture so yeah hopefully I've got some good ones and I'll share some with you now So as you can probably see by all the drone footage, we are at Crosby, we've made it to Crosby. I think I was messing about with the drone for a bit too long really, because the sun has dropped and is dropping. I've had to very, very quickly get a shot before that drops, which it's just about to go down behind them clouds. That cl them clouds weren't there before and they've just suddenly appeared and they're just extinguishing the sun we might be on for something afterwards it might light up either side of it who knows i've never really been that bothered about coming because statues i don't really do taking pictures of statues and i, I do get it i get it it's a it's a cool installment for people to come and look at and it puts crosby on the map which is quite good i'm just not feeling the shots quite as much as i think i probably should be this feels like a very very 
appropriate, peaceful way to end the day of vlogging today. We had Southport, which was very, very miss in terms of hit and miss. We then went to Formby, which was exceptional. And now we've come here. I've taken some all right shots, I think. I think that's part of the photography journey. We can get lows, like this morning was really, really rubbish and I thought that was gonna set the tone for the rest of the day. But the trick is to not let it set the tone and to find something which is gonna change that tone. But I wanted to just mention the meetup again, uh, the collaboration meetup at Rivington for Waterfalls and Woodland. Please come along. I'd love to meet you. I'd love to see more of you coming along. I think there's nine of us going now. And there were nine last time, so there's, but there's always room for more. I don't know where we'll be going. I'll put everything in that Facebook event below. Hopefully you can join us. So the sun has well and truly set now. I've taken some nice sort of desktop wallpaper type shots. It probably doesn't sound great. The reflections in the sand, in the water that's still remaining on the sand, even though the tide's gone really far out now reflecting the sky and there's that certain amount of symmetry be between sea and sky. This is me from Crosby on the northwest of England and hopefully I'll see you on the next one. See you soon.